Hey, this is Colin from Video Revealed. This is an extra episode, and I invited my buddy Jarl Leopold all the way from Norway. Hey. How's it going, Hi. buddy? Uh, he, just, he just finished uh, working on a, an amazing document that I want you to uh, look at, download, and, and try out. It's called Best Practices and Workflow Guide for, this is the important part, for long-form and episodic post-production. So this isn't for TikTok videos or YouTube videos or short videos or how come I... I can't get this in Premiere Pro. This is for everybody else. This is for David Fincher. This is for Deadpool. This is for people making feature films, uh, episodic television. And really, I think this is for anybody on broadcast, too, that they need to, to set things up. So before we get into it, let me just let people know this is like over 130 pages long. And these are the chapters. Uh, introduction, getting started, hardware and settings. Uh, working with dailies, proxy workflows, working with productions, multicam editing, dynamic link, turnovers, remote and cloud, panel integrations, resources, and tutorials. So when, when I you just called into this meeting and I told you these are all the things I don't want to do. This is <laughs> this is the tough, tough work. So how long were you working on this? Uh, we started in 2019, so actually uh, almost three years. Wow. Uh, but of course, none of us had this as our main task. So uh, it was kind of a sideshow for everyone. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, it took a while, uh, but it was a fantastic uh, team. You know, the, you know these people, the Hollywood yeah. team from Adobe. Very clever people. They know a lot of stuff. And uh, so they just sent me a lot of you know, notes and um, sometimes even whole sentences <laughs> <laughs> um, and links and tutorials and everything. Uh, and then my job was to kind of um, distill this into something readable and do the layout and make this, you know, uh, understandable and readable. Right. And, and for your major, your, your main gig is that you're going in and training some of the biggest places around. Like, we're talking mission critical places that if stuff doesn't work, then then projects fail, television fails. Then they call me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should actually call me before they start. That would be right. so much better. Right. And and you and I have Absolutely. a lot of sim actually. you and I have a lot of similarities in, in how we approach Premiere Pro, how we're teaching yeah. people. Uh, we're always like 10 and 12 steps ahead of them we have to be because they're going to they're going to come up against this and that and the other thing cuz no, nothing ever works like the manual says that's why this document exists this should actually be part of the manual wait a minute they don't make a manual anymore <laughs> no but and that's important this is not the manual this is not every little thing about any of these uh, things you know it's um, it's the, the best practices right right so we don't describe all the ways to do something like I did in my book, The Cool Stuff in Premiere Pro. Yes. That was kind of everything about everything. Uh, yeah. This is just, okay, these are the best practices that, yes. you know, the, the, the main studios, and they, they do this. You should do it too, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. So, uh, so it's, not, uh, it's not the manual. It's not, it's not a replacement for the manual. Um, it is just a guide for best practices if you are doing long form or episodic television. Right. And you yeah. also cover, I, I was amazed at how extensive the Avid uh, interconnection was in here because yeah, yeah. Avid is still a very powerful uh, platform out there and, and people need to get stuff from Avid into Premiere Pro. Yikes. And, and if it's yeah. just a simple timeline, big deal, you can do that AAF. It, it's the fact of when you're dealing with, you know, multiple, Multi-cam, multi-channel, multi-multi-multi, how? Because they don't translate one to one, and you and you have to prep these. Uh, properly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, actually, the, the most important chapter is chapter two before getting started. <laughs> before you even start, you know, <laughs> that's um, uh, if you read that chapter and do what it says there, and then follow. Uh, through the, we also have a chapter on hardware and settings. And that's yeah. kind of more um, what you need. Uh, and then you have working with dailies. Uh, and, you know, most people who don't 
working industry, you don't even know what Dailys is, you know? Right. Um, you don't really import video uh, in a production like this. You, you, the large scale productions, they import an ALE, which is an avid format, right? right. Uh, and then you link to all the um, media files from there. Wow. So it's, it's a completely different uh, way of working. And uh, if you understand all these things, then you get less trouble uh, when you um, start editing. And also when you start exporting, or we, we don't call it export, yeah. it's turnovers, because it, you're turning the, the edit over to sound and to color grading and visual effects and so on. Yeah, and, and I think a lot of people don't understand that. Like my daughter's a feature film and television editor. She never deals with any of that. She has an assistant editor. She opens a yeah. project, everything better be linked and ready to go. And then she just gives that to the finishing house and they take care of that. Uh, yeah. But there's more and more people that have to wear all the hats. So th this isn't for them, but if I was younger and, and I was working my way through this, I would eat and sleep this document oh, yeah. over and over and over again because it's so valuable. It is a really good uh, document. Uh, I'm really satisfied how it turned out. It's, uh, uh, I think it's the, the best documentation. Uh, it's not really documentation, but the, the best uh, guide out there for yeah. doing this high-end kind of stuff. Then. But of course, um, uh, there's also a chapter on proxy workflows, and that's yes. very um, useful for everyone. Um, uh, and the same with multi-camera editing. That's mm -hmm. uh, anyone who uses multi-camera should absolutely read that chapter. Uh, and there's a link in that chapter to my website uh, because this is the best practices guide, right? Right. This is this is how you should do it. But then some people have other uh, ways of doing it, and uh, they have uh, other needs. Uh, so the little article on my page, uh, my web pages, uh, that's dealing with all this. You can also do this, and you can, you know, and here's another right. way to do this. And if you turn into this problem, here, here's how to solve that. So uh, I just put that on my website because it, it didn't fit in this uh, this format, the, the best practices format. But uh, right. if you put that link in the guide, you come to my web page, and there's a lot of uh, um, uh, it's just some some links there. Then um, it's a long article, and uh, it's yeah. I think um, it, it, already someone printed it out, of course. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> you said it was 15 pages. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, it's really uh, valuable yeah. because you've got some uh, a few links to tutorials in, on your website in that yeah. document or, or in those pages. And one that really blew me away was, I can't remember the, the guy who had it, but you can't make a multicam source sequence without media. So he said, well, make make some of that placeholder media set it up exactly the way you want it. So then you force the multicam source to be that way. Wow. Never yeah. thought of that. That's very brilliant. clever. I think, uh, I think you mean uh, Paul Murphy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have a link obviously to this document in uh, the description. I'll have a link to the multicam stuff on your site. And I encourage people that once you go to it, it's premier pro.net. Yes. Yeah. Once you go to premier pro.net, Go crazy. I've already had a link before to you, all of your presets, which are really incredible. So there, you could spend like a, a whole day messing around on your site. There's lots of valuable stuff in there. Um, so people do appreciate that. Yeah, and it's free too, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like all my tutorials are free. All right, any, anything else you wanna let people know? Uh, yeah, also the, the, the chapter on dynamic link with After Effects. Oh yes. Uh, I doubt that, uh, I don't think there's many people who can read that chapter without learning something new about uh, Dynamic Link because uh, oh. there's some stuff there that I didn't know before I started writing this uh, that is quite uh, technical, but it didn't uh, show you how to do it. So it's, yeah. It's quite well, easy I'll, when you know it. Yeah, I'll dive into that because I created a tutorial called Stop Using Dynamic Link. <laughs> 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 but but in all seriousness, in the best practices workflow, it's it does say right at the beginning, there still are going to be times when you don't need to have dynamic link. Just of do course. it the old way and export it out. 
and, and that's easy. And, and the reason I had my tutorial was because some people don't know you can work without dynamic link and then they have all the issues. They have underpowered machines, everything's slow. I just spit out a video. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for taking time to, to, to join me. I, I understand you had some major uh, eye surgery last week. Yeah, I did. Um, did the uh, RLE uh, operation. So, uh, yeah, um, I can watch you now without uh, my glasses. Oh, on. Yeah. man, <laughs> I, I, would, I would love to do that. All right. So thanks a lot, Jarl. I really appreciate your time here. Uh, you and I always stay connected. And uh, if, if I'm not helping the folks out there, Jarl is helping and we're pointing to each other all the time. And, lots of help. It's about help. It's uh, the Norwegians and the Canadians doing our best to, to, to bring stability in the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was my pleasure being here. So thank you. All right. Thanks a lot.